story of a little boy that wanted to go to a parade. There was a parade in town, so he went and asked his dad. Dad said, sure, just get your chores done, you can go. So the little boy went to the, that morning, got up, got his chores done, went to his dad. Dad gave him a dollar. That's what it cost to get into the, into the circus. So the little boy runs into town, and he notices a long line on, on, on this street, and everybody's kind of crowding in, so he crowds in, and here comes the parade. You know the parade before the circus? All the actors, all the animals, everyone, the ringmaster. At the very end was the clown, and the parade was awesome, but when the clown comes by, the little boy takes a dollar out of his pocket, and he hands it to the clown, and he goes home. He missed the circus. See, he thought he had seen everything that there was to see. We do that with God. I mean, we really do. Sometimes we think church, just coming to church is, is, is fantastic. That's our experience. Sometimes it's singing and playing, and, you know, the, the audible worship. Sometimes we think that's it. Sometimes it's serving. Could be, sometimes it's giving, whatever it may be. But you know what? If that's what we base our worship, is that how we define our worship? All we're attending is the parade because there's so much more. There's so much more than a church service, so much more than a song, even so much more than serving. It's when our heart and soul connect with God. That's when the circus begins. That's when the amazingness of God and that place that God wants us to go as true worshipers in spirit and in truth. So I just wanna challenge you. If you've been watching the parade and that's all you've been experiencing with God, hang on to that dollar. Take it to the next limit, take it to the next level. Get rid of that guardrail in your life and experience everything that he has for you.